I'm Richard Cronin. I'm the uh, uh, director of the Southeast Asia program at the Timpson Center, Washington, D.C. And uh, I'm here in Bangkok with my colleagues uh, for the purpose of a two-day workshop uh, called Shared River, Shared Future. It's about uh, the future of the Mekong River in the context of plans by uh, Southeast Asian countries, lower Mekong countries, to build a string of um, hydropower dams on the river. Uh, these dams would be in addition to a very large cascade of dams that China is already building in uh, Yunnan province, uh, up in the upper half of the river. The most important thing we're trying to achieve is uh, for all the participants to uh, get a, a stronger sense of the uh, interaction of uh, sort of costs and benefits of hydropower. You know, we're not taking the position that hydropower is bad or we shouldn't have hydropower dams. Uh, but the workshop does strongly, um, because of the science is driving it, takes a position that um, uh, mainstream dams are particularly problematical, particularly with the, for, for the migratory spawning of fish and capture of silt, etc. Changes in the ecology and morphology of the river. Uh, so we're trying to uh, bring people together uh, who, uh, uh, who have different backgrounds but that are all relevant to the subject uh, to give them a chance to, to meet each other, to exchange views across uh, both, both across uh, professional fields as well as uh, across national boundaries. You know, we have people from five different countries, from China and, and Yunnan uh, and uh, four of the lower Mekong countries, uh, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand and, and Vietnam. So we bring people together from five of these countries to give them a shared understanding of the costs and benefits of hydropower development, particularly of mainstreams, uh, mainstream development, who wins, who loses, but then also to introduce them to the regional political dynamics of this issue because the end goal for the Mekong region should is now formally uh, and, and should be uh, cooperative, sustainable, equitable development.